where do you see the market at in let's say the next five years with nfts like since we have the regulators and everything coming into the crypto world like where do you see the market now like in the next five years from the uh the artist standpoint side and the the market trading side where do you where do you think and you can both answer that why don't you go victor and i'll jump in after you um i think there'll be a lot more artists in the space and i think it'll come down to just like sh showing who you are more talking more i mean youtube is full of all these creators and then there are these niches of people who do different things so i think people will find their way of community in the five years um i don't know you know for me i think the first thing victor said is exactly right i think victor i think v friends i think others people and many others do have a first mover advantage here i do think supply will outpace demand. And I think that's why I talk about 98% of NFT projects maybe not being great long-term investments. Be now, it's because 2% is still gonna be hundreds of artists, thousands of artists, and, and hundreds and thousands of kind of, let's say, collectibles, maybe the way I think about it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, but I do think that people have to be very careful. Like, like to me, what I'd like to think me and Victor represent if I'm betting, because I'm definitely betting on myself, and this is one of the kids that I, and I've been watching, that I think has a real awesome. shot of pulling it off. I think, I think Victor and V Friends' biggest vulnerability is what Amazon's biggest vulnerability was in 2000. Amazon was destined to become the greatest company in the world. Mm -hmm. Amazon's stock was worthless in 2000. Do I believe that there's a significant chance that V Friends and Fuocious's art could be less valuable than it is on the open market today? I do, because I think things play out long. And I think there mm -hmm. can be a dip when, let's say when there's just so much and it's that moment in time. I mean, look at the, look at, look at uh, Ethereum's price. The day B Friends launched, it was 4,300, it's 1,700 right now. I mean, things are volatile, right. it's early. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm always cautious to who's listening. Do I think NFT is, a big deal, I think it's the biggest deal since social media. I think it's here forever. I agree. Do I, do I think that 98% is dangerous investing? I do. Do I think you can be great at day trading if you spend all your time on it? Bored Ape, you know, uh, <laughs> excuse me, Bless excuse you. me, be friends. The numbers are staggering with the way people are, are flipping them right now. Um, you know, art blocks, wicked craniums, you know, so rare. Even my fucking pickle, if you bought it for nothing, like, you know, like, <laughs> is there day trading right now? Absolutely, mm. there was day trading in 2000 with internet stocks. But I think you have to be incredible, incredible at um, being thoughtful about A, knowing that this is very high risk, so you should be investing money you can afford to lose, mm. and B, playing it in a 10 year window instead of a 10 week window. Mm. like. Probably the far majority of Fawosh's art that I will buy in my life will happen on the next big carnage NFT moment where everything gets dragged down. Mm -hmm. Because I think all of it, if he does what I think he does and he stays this passionate and creative and kids talking about fucking building robots, if, if he d does what he is capable of in 22 years, it works out. And I think too many people are thinking about day by day. Yeah, people are, people are like day by day. It's fucking crazy to me. Well, like if you if you let's say you're trying to do like a five year plan and and you want to you want to uh, you should bet Chris. You should bet. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. Okay, and, and you want to uh, 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 incorporate the crypto NFT space. Um, how 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 do you bet on that? I mean, Every, you ready? Very easily. Mm -hmm. You put every dollar into it that you can afford to go to zero. I got you. And, and, and like what I'm talking about is like real. It's world. too high risk. Otherwise, you have to understand it truly is. It's too early. Mm -hmm. So you can only put money that can go to zero. Okay, I got because you. Because if you, if you need it and it goes down by 90% and you needed it when you put it in and you thought it was going to go up and it goes down by 90 and you need it. Mortgage, uh -huh. food, life. You're going to get fucked. Well, if well, it's, well. Go ahead. Well, what I'm looking at is like real world, like like incorporated into like a real world business. Like, um, um, I don't really want to say too much on here, but like, um, do it. well, do yeah, it. I mean, like, like, okay, I, that, I, that's I, different. I, that's called execution on your end. That you I, should do regardless. I got you. Well, I, well, You're looking, looking at two people that were at different times. You know, Victor, a year before, you know, nine months before me, 
discovered it and fucking uh-huh. did something about it. There you go. And, and that's kind of why And I'm he at. started, and by the way, we were on two very different spectrums. Mm-hmm. He was n- a child mm-hmm. and had time. I was in the prime of my career with VaynerMedia exploding and both of us stopped what we were doing from different angles. So like the only way to, like the question of yours is fucking action. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get what you're saying. 